At Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital, Darlene Curtis is about to undergo a heart procedure. Her condition is a mystery. I'm walking every day, I walk to work. It's frustrating, I should be getting stronger and stronger, and I wasn't. Two years ago, Darlene received a stent to open up a blockage. Her chest pains and fatigue have her doctor concerned. I'm diabetic, and my primary care doctor said he wanted me to have a treadmill test. The results of the treadmill test brought Darlene immediately back to Dr. Rohit Sandrani. Today I'm going to uh, do an angiogram on her. I'm going to go through the groin, take a look at her arteries of her heart. Mainly my concern is in that area, which is the left anterior descending artery, and see if the narrowing has progressed. And because she's fairly active, I may have to uh, 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 place another stent there. I am hoping, you know, we don't have to go to the route of open heart surgery. The angiogram will allow Dr. Sindrani to view Darlene's arteries and blood vessels and hopefully identify the problem. Hi. This is just my fingers, I'm feeling for your pulse. At Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital, 57-year-old Darlene Curtis is about to undergo an angiogram. She is having chest pains and severe fatigue. If you're feeling pain, let me know. Darlene will be awake throughout the procedure. So we got the wire into the artery. Uh, the key is to get it at the right spot where the common femoral artery comes out. Now the tube is going to go in and this is a, a six French sheet. Now the rest of this is going to be under the x-rays. As you can see, Darlene was quite comfortable during the whole stick there. So on, under the x-rays, I'm trying to get the catheter down to the heart. You have to keep uh, the bubbles out of the main pump. The heart function looks great. That, was, that is the whole very important part of the equation here is how the heart function is. And if the heart function is great, then we got very good outcome here. You ready to pull back? So we're gonna take another shot of the aorta, the main blood vessel, go ahead and inject. And perfect. I don't see any leakage of the valves, so we ch have checked actually two valves. Now we're gonna go into the coronary arteries and look at her arteries, which is the concern I had, how these narrowings have progressed. So far it looks it has not changed from before. If the heart function is good, then we are quite ahead. So no matter how, ba how bad the narrowings are, the heart function is a very important key of, in her treatment. The stent I had placed looks beautiful on this little test I did. And now is the whole key of her symptoms. At Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital, Darlene Curtis is undergoing an angiogram. Aha. So I see small diagonal vessels, the small vessels which have become more narrow than before, but the main blood vessel does not look bad here at all. Darlene's blood vessel looks good. Dr. Sandrani now focuses on the smaller vessels, which are narrowing. I am quite happy with it. And the stent which we, I had placed about three years ago, which was a medicated stent, looks beautiful. There is no re-narrowing in it at all. Um, the other area where I had the concern was the LED. Uh, next shot. And we don't treat it unless it's 70 or more, and I had called it about 60% of three or uh, about four years ago. Next. You know, <laughs> it actually looks a little bit better than it looked three years ago. So, that I'm quite encouraged about that. Let's look at the other side and see what we got. To determine whether it's a spasm or a blocked artery, Dr. Sandrani uses a different type of catheter, one that allows blood to flow through it. So the narrowing in the, her right side, the artery has progressed. Darlene's right artery may be blocked and Dr. Sandrani is ready to do an angioplasty to open it up. At Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital, Darlene Curtis is in the middle of an angiogram. Her doctor is preparing for a possible angioplasty, but experience tells him that Darlene's heart problem may just be a spasm. So he orders nitroglycerin to relax the artery. So I'm gonna give nitroglycerin now to see if it gets better and if it's all spasm. Trying not to go all the way into the artery, 
because that drops the pressure quite a bit. So we'll wait to see what these pictures look like. Ah, remarkable change. I didn't think it was all spasm. It looks a lot better. So we have to can of, you haven't given the heparin yet. Not yet. Very good. Darlene will not need angioplasty. The nitroglycerin relaxed the artery enough to reveal it was just a spasm. So it was the spasm of the catheter making it a real, making it look like a real narrowing. And as soon as I gave her the medication to open the blood vessel up, it is, it is looking a lot better. I got the catheter out and actually we are done. And the news is much better for her than I had expected. Cough for me. <laughs> good. Looks great. Looks actually better. Okay. So what you have done and able to take the medicines and the rest of the stuff has helped. So I'm not sure you're going to remember all this, but I'll talk to you later. I am very relieved. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I have no qualms telling Darlene, you know, go do whatever you want to do on your strenuous activity part. Darlene's angiogram is over. Dr. Sindrani now has a chance to talk to her husband. I, I couldn't have a better news. Oh, good. Um, the stent looks beautiful. All right. So stent's good for the rest of her life. Good. Heart function is very strong, like it has been before. The reason she's having those changes on the treadmill, um, which we, she has had before, um, but because it looked into that area, is because of that side branches. They're millimeter and they kind of stressed out when she exercises. And I'm not concerned about those. They're too small for us to work. Awesome. So both the areas are looking better. I got a stitch in the groin. She's gonna go home in three hours. Good job. No, she, she did the job <laughs> and you with her. Well, I, I think, you know, we would never known about it without you. So thank you very much. You're welcome, Mark. Yep. The fact that uh, no procedures are necessary um, I don't even does I don't even know if she knows that she's uh, I didn't hear any cheers from the back of the hospitals um, yeah very relieved and unexpected I didn't expect this to happen at all so way to go dr. Cintron. <laughs>